is here. Uh, so tell me, what are most of the people expecting? 25 points, 25 basis points, which is 0.25% cut. Now, at the end of the day, does this do anything to your wallet? Not, not really. I mean, it's So really, why do they do it? It's sentiment right now. You know what they have right now? The GDP number was okay. It wasn't terrific. I mean, you will have a camp out there that says, yippee, we're, we're out of this. But if you really look at the numbers, it wasn't that, that, that great. We still have a long ways to go. This economy has a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. And But this number gives the Fed fuel to cut just one more time. That's what we're hoping. And we're also hoping to hear some language from the Fed that says, we're going to take a break from this rate cutting for a while and let the economy kind of digest mm -hmm. all these rate cuts. Well, lines and said, I'm not getting another mortgage until the rates come down. I'm not putting my house on the market until the rates are down. And so if he comes out, he cuts, and then he says, I'm stopping for a while, it could jumpstart the economy and people will say, okay, he's done. I'm going to go get that mortgage and go out and buy a house. So, so to get an idea of this, when it's a little worse and it's that balancing act that they've been trying to perfect and haven't yet. Right. But in terms of the and what the Fed is saying is, hopefully, we're going to pause, we're going to let the market digest everything we've done, and hopefully, within the next six months or so, we will start to see the fruits of all this. Okay, well, I'm for a lot more zigs and a lot less zags. I'm with you there. In this I'm with all right, Tracy, thank you very much. Fox Business Network, and again.